This does not feel right. I don't want to be in my uniform yet. Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute, I'm aware, but I'm back at work. I think I had like 15 days off. So that was really nice, did go to Italy for a family holiday. Videos will be up here. Uh, but I'm actually going back to Italy. I'm going on a multi-sector today for five days. So you're coming along with me for the ride. I can already tell it's going to be a whirlwind of emotions. They always are. So we are starting off from Dubai to Milan. And then I'm going to stay in Milan for 24 hours. Then go from Milan to New York. Stay in New York for 24 hours. Then go back to Milan. Stay there for 24 hours. And then I'll come back to Dubai. So it worked out. I think it's five days. Thought I'd get this video started, get it rolling, let's get back into the gist of vlogging because I did slip off a little bit when I was away. Not gonna lie. I filmed a lot, but words just did not come out my mouth. Anyway, I am fully packed. I've packed everything but the kitchen sink because I know I'm away for a while. I've literally been in this apartment for two days. So I got back from my leave on Sunday, technically Monday morning. And it's Wednesday now, and I'm leaving again for another five days. If you're not aware, I'm going away for five days. Anyway, I thought I'd turn the camera on, I'd say hi to you. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Let me know what you have been up to, and let's get to Milan. I've made it, and I'm so excited to show you this room. We all know I'm not a room tour kind of gal anymore, but we've changed hotels, and this one is cute. So I'm going to show you. Okay. Also, if the camera is a bit shaky, I've changed the stabilisation settings so it's a bit further away. And I'm going to keep it like this the whole video, so let me know how you prefer it. Like this or like normal where it's a bit closer and not as shaky. Okay. Anyway, back to the room. So, start off at the door and then the bathroom is through here. This is little shower cubicle there is no bath but that's okay because this is cool this is blue I love it lovely mirror three ways and then you go back out this is like a hanging situation I've never actually seen that before and then in here I've obviously took over but how cute is this I love that and then either side is little wardrobes basically. You've got your desk area where everything gets dumped. More mirrors. Love it. Massive TV, like built in. And then over here. Oh, actually, let me show you. They have like USB ports instead of having to use my big brick adapter, which I think is amazing. And here is a little fridge. To your coffee station, they provide steamers. Like, you don't actually understand. I love that. It's so much easier to iron than with an iron. Because I just have to steam my shirt and it's ready. It's done. It will literally take me two minutes. Instead of getting the iron board out, finding the iron, all that stuff. So yeah, very happy about that. And then back to the tour. We have the window. And then the main road. Not much of a view, but it's daylight, so it's fine. I'm not 100% sure on the reason as to why we've changed hotels, because if you do watch my last Milan, New York one, you'll know I was very excited to go to the Milan hotel because they have this beautiful family-run pizzeria. But now it's obviously changed and we're not near that anymore. And there's nothing really around here apart from a supermarket. So I'm not going to go today, I am going to do that on the way back after I've been to New York. Because then hopefully I can take some stuff back with me. The flight was 6 hours, 5 hours 50 to be precise, and it was very busy. We had two hot services in basically 5 hours when you take off, take off in London. So yeah, it was fun, it was busy, kept us going, but it's fine, all done now. Now time to enjoy this room, because I don't think I'm going out today. I did bring my laptop to do some editing, that's got to be done. 
I wasn't going to bring it, but then I was like, no, I kind of should. Otherwise, I'm just going to sit here and do nothing, and I know I would, so. just realised you can see me in the background. A little bit cringe. So am I. It's fine. It is my nan's birthday, so I'm going to go FaceTime her for a little bit. And then I will catch up with you when I decide what I'm going to do after that. Did I nap? Yes, I did. Am I upset about it? No, I am not. <laughs> anyway, I looked at the room service menu and there's only one pizza, which is margarita, and a cheese and ham toasty on there. So for the first time in a very long time, I'm going to go down to a restaurant on my own. I'm a little scared though. I do also look semi-homeless, like, I'm not even angry about it, because I'm comfortable, and I'm also ice cold, so, I'm not taking this jumper off for nobody, but it reps the country, it's the one I got in Florence, it's cute isn't it, Ooh, oh yeah, anyway, uh, let's go get some food because I'm hungry. Watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we Look at the same old stars Battle the same old wars Like so many times before And I know that we're not perfect But I'm gonna miss Good morning, it's Thursday today And I'm ready to go over to New York However I got ready an hour and a half before my wake up call because apparently I don't know how to tell time. Yes. So that was fun. So I'm sat waiting for my wake up call. The wake up call should be in about 40 minutes and then I've got an hour to be downstairs. So yeah, I'm just going to sit here, pack up my suitcase which is kind of, kind of packed. Still a little bit exploded but it's fine. I've steamed my uniform with my little steamer, it's over here somewhere. I've had my breakfast, I did have, actually that's a lie, I didn't have any breakfast. I ended up having like a pot noodle thing for lunch, it's what I had in my bag. Didn't really fancy anything off the menu, so I had that and I will eat on the flight. So the flight to New York, I think it's like 9 hours or 8 hours, and we land there in the evening, so... I have an idea of what I'm going to do, but I just need to speak to one of the crew to see if it's still going ahead. If not, I have a backup plan, which also involves spending money. When do I ever go to New York and not spend money? I'll wait, because I was currently sat here this morning looking at Broadway tickets for my next New York, which is at the end of September. Hmm, <laughs> don't judge. Anyway, I will catch you beautiful people when we arrive in New York. Oh wow. Welcome to New York. Woo. I'm actually on another planet right now. I'm so tired. It is 9.30 in the evening here. However, it is 5.30 in the morning the next day in Dubai. So I'm very sleepy right now. I That bus journey. Let me sit down. That bus journey normally takes like an hour, give or take. As soon as I sat down, I was asleep and I woke up when we got here. That's how tired I am. My plans have fell through, which I'm very devastated about. We was going to go and do a helicopter tour, but it didn't work out to plan. There was no time slots that we could actually do, which was frustrating. So I'm not 100% sure what my plan is tomorrow, but I do know I will wake up bright and early and I will figure something out. So you are going to come with me for that. I do just have to say, the hotel here that we stay at is amazing. So if you have came on my last one with me, you know the concierge, ooh, let me get down, gives us an insane amount of water. So I got one. Hold on. So I got... One bottle, two, three, four, five, six, seven bottles of water. And I'm not even lying, like, they're all there. How cool is that? So, 
So, oh, this is just like flattering. Just well done, Sophie. You've given all the angles today. Um, and if I don't drink it on this layover, it's coming with me to Milan. And if I don't drink it in Milan, they go home with me in my fridge because I have loads of them in my fridge at the minute. And that's what I use when I'm going to work. I love this hotel, it was like the cute, it's so cute. I know it's plastic and don't come at me, blah, blah, blah. I work for an airline that pumps out a lot of CO2 and crap into the air. I do recycle the plastic, so don't shout at me. So let me get off the floor and we will sort this out. Since I did a room tour in Milan, this is all you're gonna get. I do have a double bed, which makes a nice change because I normally get two single beds. So I do have a nice big double and I'm very happy about it. Do you still have the creepy pictures? They're still there, they're not gonna change. Ooh. And then the bathroom is this. Where the diddy diddy bath. Oh wow, I'll rub my eyes off. I'm going to scrub my face, get into bed and probably go to sleep. I was planning on going to go get some food, but I think I'm just gonna wait. Ooh, and have something when I wake up and go get some nice breakfast instead. Yes, if not, I've got a pot noodle, I think, in my bag. I can eat that. Yeah. Right, I'm chatting for no reason. I will catch you, beautiful people, in the morning. Let me get dressed, and then we will talk. <laughs> The same old wars like so many times before and i know that we're not perfect but i'm gonna miss all that we had yeah i know that we're not perfect but i need this night for the last time now that is a bit better back to my normal self good morning happy friday i am in new york I got here last night and I'm not gonna lie, I don't, I think I spoke to you last night. Did I speak to you last night? I think I did. Yes, I did. Last night was a blur. So when I got on the bus to when I woke up this morning, it's all just a big blur. I was exhausted. Anyway, I did wake up at the crack of dawn. I woke up at 3 a.m. And I went out at seven to go get some breakfast. I'm not gonna tell you where because you'll probably judge me, but just know it was the Golden Arches. Don't judge. Uh, I was gonna go to a fancy breakfast place, and then I realized it was gonna cost me like $50 when I could go to fast food and get it for $8. So I went for the $8 instead. Like I was saying last night, I think, I was supposed to go on a helicopter tour today, and I'm kind of glad I didn't because there is a lot of clouds in the sky. That plan fell through, so I'm going to do my usual. I'm gonna go look around Times Square. I do need to go to Sephora because, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but I cannot buy my concealer in any other Sephora. So I used the KVD in shade 103 light, and in Dubai, the lightest shade is 115. So that's a big difference, 103 to 115. Big difference. So I'm gonna go stock up on that and then maybe pick up some bits. And then I may take a walk over to the Rockefeller because I've never actually been. And it's, funnily enough, it's right around the corner from where we stay. <laughs> so I'm going out with no particular plan. It is, what, nine o'clock now. So I have at least six hours before I want to be in bed trying to sleep because tonight, it's going to be hard, people. But before we even get to that, let me show you the view, because I never actually showed you the view last night, and it's really cute. So, how cute. It's a different one to last time. So, if you try and imagine, that way is the main road. If you go that way, it's Times Square, and that way is, obviously, the other way. And then Shake Shack is right down there. That's where I am right now. Outfit? You want to see the outfit? I'll show you the outfit. I didn't really pack properly for this layover. I have, ow! I have a black top, my famous shorts, and I've got my Vans, and I have a black bag somewhere. Not the normal black bag. I have a new black bag. 
It's really cute. Jenny. Jenny. And it also has a big strap, which I'm going to put on. Cropped off half my head. Is the fit for the day. I feel like it's very simple, little classy, vans to make it walkable. So, yes. Right, let me get sorted, pack up the electronics and lock them away. And let's get to Times Square. I kind of like this whole uh, wider angle situation. I hope it's not too shaky because I don't have the stablest of hands, let's say that. Right. Let's go shopping because who doesn't like spending money? And I wanted to try this drink forever. It's the strawberry acai lemonade with lemonade. They did say you could get it with milk, but that kind of freaked me out. I'd probably pick the noisiest street to walk down. But let's try it. Ooh, back for refreshing. Well, that was a shopping trip, and it took a very exciting turn towards the end. So I was heading back to the hotel after attempting to buy some sunglasses, which you will hear about. And I ran into the purser of the flight and she was going to Target and Whole Foods. So I went to Target and Whole Foods. But we will start with the interesting stuff first. First off, I stopped in Sephora and I spent way too much money. But I'm very excited to try out my new bits, which I will try later on. So TikTok made me buy this one. It's basically like a, a pocket buffer, so you like dab away and blend in your sweaty mess of a makeup. So I'm hoping that's good. I will keep you posted on that one. It was $15, $15 I think that was. I'll tell you the price of stuff. Yeah, that was $15. Okay, and then I bought the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I've never used it, heard high reviews and the sales associate, 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 salesperson was very good. 
So he convinced me to buy this, and it was probably the most expensive thing I bought. It was $35. But how cute is that? So I'm going to try it tonight on my flight back, see how it wears. Because at the minute I'm using the MAC one, and I love that, but I'm always open for new and exciting things. I then bought the two concealers that I wanted. It is the light... 103. I bought two because I can't buy them anywhere else and it was the last two they had. So I got the both of them. I'm very happy with that. Oh, they were, how much were they? They were 28 each, $28 each. I then picked up the randomest thing. It's the Beauty Blender Tinted Skin Tint and I got it in light one. So I tried it on and it was really nice. It's like a a BB cream, a CC cream type thing. Very light, very fair, and I thought it was perfect when I don't want to do full coverage. That was $20. Yes, that was $20, so that's actually not bad. And it's a big size. It's a 30ml, one ounce. After that, I picked up some primer. I got the milk one. I got the small travel size one to try. It's the Grip Primer. Heard good things about this as well. Mm, that was $18 for the small travel size. I was going to pick up the bigger one. Obviously, the bigger one's better value for money. But I've never used it before and my skin's quite fussy. So I thought I'd get the little one to try it before I splurge on the big one. Then mascara, because I'm having a bad time with mascara. And I got this one as a free sample a couple shops ago. And I loved it. And I just never bought it because I was like, oh, it's so expensive for mascara. And I've been trying different ones and I always end up with like fallout and by the end of flights or by the end of days I end up with like panda eyes and it's really annoying. So I picked up the milk one in, let's see that focuses, in Boom. And this was $14. This is the mini one, travel size one. So I've got the mini one again just to try it to make sure I liked it and then I'll get the big size. Or I'll try something new. And last but not least... I got the Beauty Blender to go with the Beauty Blender foundation. I've never actually tried the official Beauty Blender Beauty Blenders. So I'm excited to try that. And this was, how much was this? Oh no, that's a lie. This was 20, this was 29. Yeah, so in the end, you can do the maths. I'm not gonna tell you. I spent a lot of money, but I did get a lot. So I'm actually okay with it. So yeah, that's fine. That was my Sephora shop. Let me put all this away. Because I'm going to try it tonight. I'm very excited. And then I stopped off in Aritzia. And there is a beautiful girl from America. She goes by Balanced Flyer on Instagram. She's also a flight attendant in the US and she's amazing. Go watch her travel stuff. She's so healthy and positive about life it's great i love watching her videos well, she always shops at aritzia and she has the nicest outfits and they're just so simple and classic and basic i love it so when i seen it i was like i need to go i need to try it and i picked up one little item and i wanted this item for a very long time let me just just take a minute packaging yeah i got i don't know how this is gonna work, but I loved it when I seen it. I picked up a cute little tennis skirt. And I was gonna get it in the white, but the white was too long. It looked like a weird length on me. So I did end up getting the shorter one. And it does have shorts underneath. I tried it on and it fits perfect. I love it, it's great. So I got that, I'm very happy. So thank you for constantly talking about Aritzia because you are amazing, thank you. And I got this in the Move Tennis Micro in black, size medium. Hopefully you will see this soon. Let's see how daring I am. But yes, I'm obsessed. I wanted a tennis skirt for a long time. So I'm glad I picked one up. Hopefully I'll wear it. After that, I did stop in H&M, have to. And it was a very simple shop. It was, oh actually, I also stopped off in CVS and got some sun cream and some eye whitener. This is a godsend for after I have a sleep on the plane 
or it's a very long night flight and your eyes get really dry. A few drops of that, you're back to new, good as anything. It's fantastic. So yeah, back to what I got in H&M. Let me get them out. I got a new claw clip because the ones I buy are just not big enough and this one looks like it's going to hold my hair. So I got that. I then picked up this. Um, I bought it originally to go with the tennis skirt. It's just like a little crop t-shirt. It's really nice on. And because I liked it on so much, I did pick it up in the white as well. Yeah, I got these in a small. Uh, I tried them on and the medium was too big. There was too much fabric going on. And this one just looked nicer. So I got the white as well. And because I like the collar situation, I picked up this one, which is a nice purple one, long sleeved, big collar, nice. So I thought maybe these could look nice with the tennis skirt. If not, it'll go perfect with my jeans or my shorts, either or. Always need new t-shirts in your life. I then picked up a simple black one, cropped oversized black, and I got this in a large, can't go wrong with that. And then I also picked up some black long cycling shorts because the cycling shorts I have are mini and I do not like them because I thought the new oversized t-shirts that I've got that I got to go away with will look nice with shorts in Dubai instead of wearing the leggings because it's still piping hot in Dubai. That's what I bought and then we went to Whole Foods. I did buy two drinks actually that I've never heard of and I'm interested to try them but I might save one for when we go back to Milan because that's where I'm going tonight so I first got the zero calorie berry blackberry one I think I might like this one I'm hoping I might like this one but right now I'm going to try the prebiotic soda in the raspberry rose this one from pop pop it Popeye. So I'm going to try this one now. Should we try it together? And I'll take the other one to Milan. Ooh, right. Cheers. It's not what I was expecting, but it's nice. I always imagine cans to be fizzy. This is like not really fizzy. It's it's like soda water. I'll drink it. That's nice. I'd recommend. I'm just a big fizz lover. I love fizz. And then what else did I get? I got some mac and cheese to take on the flight with me because there's never any nice food that I can eat on the flight anymore because I'm very picky. <laughs> and then I got uh, some foods to eat now. I got some potatoes, uh, what else to get? Curry cauliflower, some chicken, a little bit of rice. So I'm gonna eat this now, finish my drink, down my water. Then I need to shower. I need to iron my shirt for work tonight and I need to sleep. I feel like I've had a very productive day. Oh, also, that's what I was saying. I wanted to buy some new sunglasses today. Oh my God, it's just started raining. Oh my god, it's hammer it down. I came back at the right time. Yeah, I'll show you in a sec. But yeah, what I was saying was, I wanted to buy some new sunglasses, and I'm still going to buy them. But... <laughs> the thunder's following me. Oh yeah, so I was going to buy some new sunglasses, and I found the ones I wanted. I went into Sunglasses Hut. I may or may not put the footage in, because I never bought them, so I don't really want to show you what I bought, what I didn't buy. That might be, yeah, anyway. Um, so yes, I found the ones I wanted and then they didn't have them in stock, which was very frustrating. So I went to the official shop of the brand that I wanted, they didn't have them. And then I went to three other sunglasses foot shops. So I went to like five shops in total and no one had them in stock, which is very frustrating. So it was not my day to buy some new sunglasses, which is very frustrating. But it's fine because I've tried them on, I like them, I like how they fit on my face, I like how they look. So I think I'm going to check in Dubai, uh, work out the pricing and stuff, and either order them in Dubai to get delivered to me, or order them off the UK website to get delivered to my mum and dad, and they can just look after them until I go home. 
That's the situation on the sunglasses. Would you like to see the thunderstorm going on outside? Because it's a bit crazy. Let's see if I can show you. You can't really see it. But wow. It's uh, raining. I wonder if I can show you that way. Oh, there you go. You can see it now. That's literally just come out of nowhere. Wow. Right. My food. Ow, every time. My food's probably really cold right now, so I'm going to eat it and do everything I told you before. And I will probably catch you when I'm getting ready to try my new makeup. I'm actually very happy with the outcome. It doesn't feel heavy. And you can still kind of see my freckles. Not in there, you can't, but you can still see them. Let's see how it wears. I'm very happy with the outcome. I like how it feels. Hopefully it will last. I can't really judge it too much because I do have to wear a mask for the next like 10, 12 hours. So let's see what happens around the eyes because I don't have any settling in. And that mascara is definitely not what I remember. Like it literally looks like I have no eyelashes right now. It's really annoying, but it's fine. Anyway, I'm gonna finish packing up get sorted and head downstairs because I need to get ready to go. We are headed back to Milan. So I will catch you beautiful people in Milan. Good morning. Hope you're doing well. I'm not gonna lie. I am ready to leave. I am in Milan and I got here yesterday morning. Slightly afternoon by the time we got here. It was like two o'clock. But I just passed out. I think the week got to me. I was tired. I was exhausted. My social battery was negative 10. I don't know. It was bad. But I've slept, I've ate, and now I'm ready to go back to Dubai. I'm sorry that I didn't do anything here, but if you want to see them all, it's right there. Did I go? No. <laughs> Oops. It was Sunday as well, so the time is different, aren't they? And I didn't realise that when I had a nap. So I slept till like half five. Six o'clock, I think it was. And then by the time I woke up, I was like, too late, not going out, bye. So I ended up ordering Deliveroo and ate that in bed and slept some more. So I am going to end this video off. I hope you have enjoyed. Do like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. I lose my breath when